Good morning, guys. It's one of those butt fuck early mornings again because we gotta film the podcast. I was up uh, setting up the podcast room because you know how we just moved um, the new desk in there and made that my like quote unquote office. So I rearranged the whole podcast area and I didn't get a chance to put everything back in its place and I just did that. And uh, it's 4.52 now that I've been up for about half an hour. And yeah, I'm pretty tired. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I forgot I still have my nose strip thing on. So this thing has been helping me out. If you have any like mouth breather sleepers out there like me, I've been buying these nose strips and what it does, it kind of opens up your nose and it helps your nose breathe better at night. And I have this plastic strip that I put over my mouth because I have a tendency of going and I think maybe I have like light sleep apnea. So I wake up with like the driest throat sometimes. Like sometimes it's like 3 a.m. I go and I feel all nasty. I'm like, oh, what the hell? So I always have to keep uh, like water next to my nightstand. But now that I have my lips sealed like this and my nose open, I could breathe way, way better. And then even like, you know, sometimes you get allergies and your nose gets stuffy. You can breathe through that because it opens your nose completely. Now, um, it's my morning routine because, you know, Marlboro just takes longer because she has to shower and then also do her makeup. For me, I could literally shower and brush my teeth and be done sitting in that podcast room in like under 10 minutes. Gio needs at least like 30 to 40 minutes. So it's my morning routine to uh, make her like some caffeine. And she likes matcha because it hits her and it doesn't crash as much. So we, oh yeah, for those of you guys who have matcha, don't forget to store it in the refrigeration because it is considered like a fresh, like whole leaf tea. So unlike um, like regular like oolong tea, you know, it's like dried. Um, so it's already preserved, right? Like if you guys ever buy a, a tin of matcha from Jumbi, you'll notice that it's bright green. So it's not like a dried tea, it's crushed and it, they're still treated, but you have to keep it in the fridge to keep it nice and fresh. And since we're on a diet, I found this. Isn't that cool? French vanilla fat-free creamer. So this is my morning routine where I make this for mama. And uh, she really likes the French vanilla and I just drink it without the French vanilla. You know what's super cool about dogs? No matter what time you wake up, they're always down to be with you. Are you down? Look at Fanny. She's like, what? She's like, you guys are awake? Me too. Me too. I'm gonna be right next to you guys. I've never seen a sleepy dog before. Have you ever seen a sleepy dog, babe? Yeah. I mean, I've seen a dog like fall asleep, but I've never seen a dog where like, it's time to wake up and then they're like humans where they hit the snooze button and then they're like, uh, just give me a second. You know, oh, usually, I've seen that. Really? Yeah. Usually I just see dogs and then they just get up like this, this little girl. This little girl just gets up. Uh. Good morning. Good morning. I like how you called her a little girl and I always call her my old lady. <laughs> your old lady? Yeah. Are you old lady? You are. You're like nine or ten. So I know uh, Ma Bear showed you guys the room yesterday, but in case you guys didn't see it yet, this is what the office looks like now. I have my little desk, my, my screen, and we moved this um, bed over like a good six inches and it created way more space. Before, I had to get through like this. And then I could still barely get through. And I was able to move some of the the camera and the light out a little bit more so it's easier to walk to the bathroom but you can see how before you weren't able to see that socket because the headboard covered it but now we scooted it over and although you don't have that much space on this side we don't have that many guests but technically it's still enough for someone to get out of bed on this side I guess and this is my little desk action here got this off of Ikea um, you guys saw me build it with Taika we got an extra little laptop stand, so I use that because I do need both laptops. 
and then I have a, uh, what are these things called, ultra wide screen because I have so many windows I need to get open once I start working. And then Marbert bought me this cool little chair. And then that's the podcast room. So that's what it looks like now. And uh, time to get ready to film the podcast. Just finished the podcast. Actually shot two today, which is really productive. And it is now eight o'clock. The little young monkey is awake and he's playing with his tools, which is so cute. What are you fixing over there? Your screwdriver it broke. You gotta fix your screwdriver. Uh oh. Here, let me see. You want Papa to help you? Yeah. Let me see. There it goes. It's open. Oh, you can open it? Oh. That's cool. Right now I'm about to fix up some breakfast. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, use yesterday's leftovers, which I made some uh, chick uh, tomato, onions, and chicken. This is actually pretty good. Not yesterday, but like two days ago. And hmm, what I'm going to do is get some egg whites. I told y'all I am almost about this healthy thing. At least for three days. This is my third day. Hopefully that can last. Got some egg whites. Probably mix it in with here. Probably get like a big old meal with like a good 40 grams of protein. And I got like this little cinnamon toast crunch. <coughs> hey, it's not Corona, okay? It's allergies. So I kind of messed up. I relied on this pan too much. I was like, oh, it's nonstick. And since I'm trying to stay low on oil, I could have used my cooking spray, but I don't know why it didn't cross my mind. And it kind of got a little bit burnt, but still looks good. See all these little burnt parts? Yeah. Just eating my breakfast with a multivitamin. Super important to get your multivitamin in right now. Because um, one thing I don't like about fitness, what kind of sucks is, you know when you guys follow a bunch of people on Instagram and athletes, right? And everyone's goal is usually focus on the outside. Getting a six pack or like getting jacked or like getting strong. But what about the inside? For me, since I'm trying to be an athlete long term, I'm all about let's get the oil change and get the engine running good before we supercharge it and put on the shiny new paint job. So I'm always taking my multivitamins, taking my greens and getting everything done well. But one thing that did come in that I'm really happy for is our new Barbell Brigade creatine prototype. So it's not out yet. I'm going to be personally testing this for a few months before we release. But uh, it's our new creatine formula. And there's a lot of really dope things. Like There's some new studies that just came out about creatine and some other ingredients that benefit it. And actually... Uh, uh, like amplify the effects of it which is really really cool and we have that in here so all the old creatine brands that haven't had a chance to make that adjustment which takes time um, they're not gonna have those new benefits so I'm testing to see how well it actually does and I'll let you guys know so if you guys see me hitting some PRs at home in my little rink -a gym over there you know that's creatine is working how's the mentos crunch are you killing it good job Taika you're doing so good Papa's so proud of you <laughs> that gets crazy. I forgot to update you guys for the last couple hours because it was pretty action packed. Number one, you can tell my hair changed drastically because I just cut my hair. It was getting too long to the point where I can't follow that uh, hair tutorial that I was doing where I could just like go upside down and trim it with scissors because then it would just look like I got hit with the weed whacker. So I was like, you know what, what's the longest clip I have? And it was like one inch. I'm like, I'll just buzz it all off. I'm like, We're going to be on this quarantine for at least another month anyways. So like it'll eventually grow back. So I buzz it off. Um, I try to fade it. I feel like the fade's a little bit better than last time. You guys let me know. Can't really tell. What I do realize though is I probably need to fade it when the sun's not so harsh. Because when it's really harsh, you can't really see the fade that clean. So I fade it. It looks all nice outside. And when I go in the bathroom, I'm like, ah, damn it. It doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to look. But... Um, it gets the job done. I feel clean because I do have to go shoot uh, Just Kidding News tomorrow. It's been another two weeks of quarantine. Everyone's healthy. Uh, no one's showing any symptoms. So we're going to have another little JK News marathon. We shoot like three days in a row and then re-quarantine again for another two weeks. And then afterwards, uh, me and Sexy Mob Bear, can I show them what you look like? So me and Sexy Mob Bear, I can't show what she looks like because she's just in a teeny tiny sports bra. Um, uh, we went out for a little run and man... When they say you, 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 when you don't use it, you lose it. The three miles felt long. My legs felt heavy. I haven't ran like a month. And uh, Marbro went on the bike with little Taika. 
and we came back, I ate lunch, and now I'm about to do my first uh, Zoom meeting in the little office. Just a little update on what's going on in case you're like, where the hell did your hair go in between takes? That's what happened. In my little office lair now, and as promised, I am trying to go on a diet. I don't know why, but when it's like the third day, or like when you're on a diet, every day seems so long, like it's the days are counting, but when I'm not on a diet, it's like, oh damn, I've been eating fat for two weeks. When I'm on a diet, I'm like, oh, time for a cheat day. And I'm like, how many days have I been dieting? I'm like, two. <laughs> Cause I, I was, uh, we're running and I smelled some basil and I'm like, oh, margarita pizza. I would love to have some margarita pizza right now. And I'm like, how many days do I, or did I earn it yet? I'm like, I'll eat it if it's been a week. And I'm like, wait, today's Wednesday. It started on Monday. <laughs> so I've only been dieting two and a half days technically. If I could make it through today, it'd be my third day. But um, I got myself a little dessert. And I just get pineapples and sprinkle some cinnamon. Cinnamon is pretty much like zero calories, but this makes it taste really good. So that's my little cheat snack. Um, Cause I have an insane sweet tooth. I don't know why. It's just so insane. But now I'm in my office getting ready to do my Zoom meeting. I just got back from uh, my once a week market trip. And as you guys know, I'm trying to be healthy, right? But I got the craziest craving for noodles. I've been wanting to eat instant noodles, spaghetti, Chinese noodles. And I saw these guys at the supermarket. Pasta Zero. Shaped shirataki. It's only 20 calories. So I was like, might as well give it a try, see how it tastes like. So I'll let you guys know for all my people that are also trying to like lose their quarantine 15. Um, I'll let you guys know and then maybe you guys can eat something uh, that's also yummy and kind of get rid of that noodle fix. Right now I'm just fixing up some cabbage, about to have some shabu shabu. Defrosting these guys, these are easy to defrost, so we're eating this for dinner and then defrosting these guys for tomorrow. And then I had to get the Watt People's Tofu because, you know, resources are scarce. So I couldn't get the Chinese People's Tofu. Had to get the Organics Tofu Firm. All right, guys. Moment of truth on these carbless noodles. I've never had any carbless uh, noodles that I liked. I know, but... Desperate times call for desperate times. Exactly. Huh? Let's see. Let's see, okay? Let's see. Let's give these guys a fair chance. Don't spray any more cleaners here. Oh, sorry. Because I want to give them a nice fair chance. Let's see what's up. I can already tell by the consistency. It feels like plastic styrofoam. Yeah. <laughs> it smells good. Hmm. I'm gonna kind of get my fix a little bit, especially for 20 calories. Try some, baby. Put a little bit of chili oil in there. I'm alright. <laughs> That's the <laughs> weirdest texture I've ever felt in food. Food should not taste like feel like. But it's that. only 20 calories. Yeah, I'll just do without it. Damn. That was weird. You're That's lucky weird. that you don't have a fat man living inside of you. That was weird. You're uh, still gonna eat it? Hell yeah. I'm a straight up garbage disposal inside. I have a straight up sumo wrestler living inside that my body. disgusting. Hell yeah. I might buy just like maybe, I think I might need like two packets of these next oh, time. Oh, gross. Hmm. Oh, God. I could find different, find different ways to season it. I could find different ways to season it. No, it's not the seasoning or the flavor. It's just the texture. This is our little cheat hack. For shabu shabu, we boil the water there because it's way hotter there. And then we just use this to keep it warm. And then time to throw some vegetables. Yeah, 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 And this white man's Thank tofu. So much. I put Taiko to sleep early today because he didn't take a nap. I still can stay awake during the movie. That means we're really tired. Just like this little monkey here, too. Yep. <laughs> You <laughs> kidding me? Yep. What? That's that's Shh, all. I'm working. Shh. Okay. Yeah, I want to buy a stock, all of it, on red. Oh, you buy stocks on colors now? Huh? Sorry, are you saying something? 
No, I don't know you buy stocks on colors. What other colors are there for these stocks? Sorry, that's uh, that's my assistant. <laughs> my friend's pretty cutie. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.